Hello, everyone, and welcome to a mini sky tonight from my haunted mall. In the spirit of the Halloween season, I thought, why not discuss some of the unique and interesting places in space that are kind of eerie and spooky in a way. So I present to you Astronomy Bazaar, a unique tour of some of the most unique, weird, eerie, and sometimes spooky parts of space. So the first image I present to you is NGC 7023. But as you can see from the image, it's often given the nickname the Ghost Nebula because these wisps of clouds kind of give an eerie presence of though that spirits were reaching out towards the stars. It's 1400 light years away, but do not let these small little ghosts deceive you. The length of the nebula itself is two light years across. So these are huge spirits that extend out to the stars. The next up for your consideration is this unique cloud structure that's within our own solar system. It is Saturn's hexagonal cloud. Although it may look calm, do not let it deceive you. At the eye of the storm, it is nearly 300 miles per hour winds blasting through a circular path. But to this day, astronomers are still baffled as to how the cloud structures are formed. Most cloud structures in the gas giants, like say, for example, Jupiter, have circular clouds. It's Saturn's lenticular cloud structure that give this unique hexagonal shape. Here is a model presented by the Cassini spacecraft that went around Saturn and to understand the cloud structures and why it gives it a unique hexagonal shape. Astronomers are still trying to understand what's going under the cloud layers. And with hope, the Juno space mission was currently at Jupiter, might shed some light more on this mystery. And of course, speaking of Saturn, if you have pets in the room that are sensitive to high pitches, I suggest keeping this out of their earshot because this next sound is eerie and animals do weird things when they hear this particular sound. The spooky sounds of Saturn are created by listening to the particles in the magnetic field. And it's basically taking the, taking the radio signals from those particles in the magnetic field and turning it into an audio sound. Kind of similar of how songs are converted into audio that your radios can pick up from any station across the United States. So bear in mind, the sound you will hear is really eerie. Spooky, wasn't it? Now, for a unique type of moon that astronomers have yet to understand how it works, I present to you Iapetus, a moon around Saturn that is sometimes nicknamed with two different names, the Yin Yang Walnut and the Fire and Ice Moon, because it's a unique type of moon it's given its name by the god, Greek god Iapetus because on one side it's black as asphalt but the other is pure white as snow and there's no gray area whatsoever on the moon. Astronomers had discovered that this unique moon what happens is that on the 
daytime side is completely dark and it evaporates whatever atmosphere it has. And then that atmosphere creeps over towards the nighttime side and it snows what little atmosphere it has. So hence a fire and ice moon and the snow constantly drifts as it's pointed away from the sun. But what astronomers are really interested in is the band that is across the entire moon. That band lines perfectly up with the natural equator of the moon. And yet, despite all the models that astronomers could come up with, whether it's collision or accretion for a particular moon, many models fail in comparison to try to understand how this moon was created. So the mystery of this unique walnut is still undiscovered. Next up is the moon Triton. It's sometimes known as the cantaloupe moon, as you can see on its unique features. But even astronomers are unable to understand how these unique features are created. But what's most weird about the moon Triton around Neptune is the geysers that come up from the moon. Even though this moon is so far away, there's enough greenhouse effect underneath the surface of the moon that causes jets to arise. But the more mysterious part is that these jets are blown over at 90 degrees, several thousand miles above the surface of the moon as though it's blown over by some mysterious force. And astronomers have yet to understand why. Next up on our unique list of things to consider, it's HD 139139. I know, not a spectacular name, but what made this unique star so different from other stars is the brightness level decreases in random intervals. Now, when a star's brightness dims, it usually means something has gone in front of it. And if it dips regularly, that means something is in orbit around the star. That's how astronomers are able to discover whether or not a star has particularly planets. In fact, nearly half the stars in our galaxy are suspected to have planets. But this particular star has 28 unique different dips in its brightness. And they each vary between 45 minutes to 7.5 hours in each of their unique dips. Astronomers are still trying to understand where these dips are coming from. Is it multiple planets? Is it possibly black holes that go around this star? We may never know but astronomers are trying to figure out that mystery. Next up on the Halloween Grand Tour is the concept known as vampire stars. Some double star systems have a unique type of star that gets its energy from other stars. That they're on their last legs and the only way to keep themselves alive is by sucking energy from another star. The image to the left is an example of such star. It's 17 Leporis, or in the, it's the 17th star in the constellation Lepus. And it's a unique double star system to where the smaller blue star is sucking energy from the great red star to keep itself alive. And speaking of keeping yourself alive, Allow me to present to you LP 40365. It's often nicknamed a zombie star because astronomers believe that this star was once possibly dead. It was a dead white dwarf and then all of a sudden it started to create material from the galaxy and other stars. And then it started to create its own fusion again. Even though the core inside is nearly dead, the outer shell that, is, that has accreted on top of the dead star is now doing nuclear fusion. So a dead, but yet not dead star. 
In fact, this unique type of star has given it a new term in astronomy known as type 1ax. A type 1ax star, usually a type 1a, means that it's a white dwarf that keeps fusing because material dumps onto the star that is still alive. But in this particular case, the star was on its last legs. Next up on our list is what has been discovered around our own galaxy. They're known as Fermi bubbles because they were first discovered by the Fermi Gamma Ray Telescope. And these unique bubbles are huge. They're 25,000 light years from top to bottom, extending above and below our galaxy. And it's a bubble within a bubble. The light blue areas that you can see in this image indicate the outer rim of the bubbles. Now, don't let these bubbles fool you thinking, oh, they're slow. They accelerate. And in fact, the top speed that they have recorded thus far, these bubbles extending out into space, is 2.2 million miles per hour. So these bubbles are expanding rapidly. And astronomers believe that in order to be able to have this kind of expansion and have this much energy, in fact, the bubbles are predicted to have a temperature of over 7 million degrees Fahrenheit. To have this kind of a temperature and this kind of vast expansion, it had to be a huge explosion of some kind. Basically, the kind of equivalent of explosion of 100,000 supernovas going off at once. Astronomers suspect what may have happened is that these are the results of our own black hole in the center of our galaxy. It underwent a feeding frenzy. And this is the epic burp of such a feeding frenzy. Kind of a interesting version of galactic cannibalism, if you will. Speaking of unique creatures that kind of mimic what's going on in Halloween, this is UGC 1382, and it's often been dubbed the Frankenstein Galaxy because it has a patchwork of different styles of galaxies. It shows traces of an elliptical galaxy, it shows traces of a spiral galaxy, and it even shows traces of an irregular galaxy as you can see in these different images. It's though this galaxy was patchworked together from three different galaxies. And astronomers are still trying to understand how this monstrous galaxy was formed. And lastly, the last thing for you to consider on this grand tour is the boomerang galaxy. They say that Strange things happen when hell freezes over. And I can assure you, this is the coldest place in the entire universe. The temperature in the Boomerang Nebula is one degree Kelvin, barely just a little bit above absolute zero. At absolute zero, nothing moves. Everything is completely frozen in time. This is just a degree above that. To give you an equivalence in Fahrenheit, it's negative 458 degrees below zero in this nebula. And astronomers are trying to understand why it's so frigid and cold. Nonetheless, thank you for taking this wonderful grand tour with me and to enjoy these bizarre and unique features in space. If you would like for me to cover over a unique type pick, leave it down in the comments below. If there's a question that you would love for me to answer, leave it down in the comments as well. Parents, if you're looking for some fun activities to do with your kids, futureadysa.org has a unique site that allows your kids to be able to do these fun interactive activities as well as earn digital badges. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. I highly recommend the Astronomy Plus mission because that's the one I personally work with. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, never stop learning.
Happy Halloween, everyone.